Hello, Rosie. Thank you for being here today. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, take part in your project. All right, so we're going to be talking about the 1960s today. And I just wanted to start out by asking how old you were. Uh, in the 60s, I was in my 20s. All right. And during that time, would you feel... Like, what, what, what kind of music did you like listening to? Well, um, actually, the 60s were kind of a new era in music, I think, for everybody. Um, and I was married then in, in the Air Force, and we were stationed in Baker, Oregon. And all we could listen to out there was um, country and western. So after three months... Must have been pretty bad. <laughs> it was a bit. Um, but it was different because I was from New York. And um, after three months, we got sent back to New York, and everybody was talking about the Beatles, you know, this band from England. And um, so um, I started listening to them, and I really liked them. But from then, it just it kind of progressed. And it seems like the music definitely started changing. Right. So, obviously, the Beatles were your favorite artists then. They were, they were. Um, I like the Beatles. I guess I like them better than the Beach Boys. Uh, <laughs> but who, who wouldn't? <laughs> but um, really, honestly, I think um, the is my favorite band. Um, also, um, Simon and Garfunkel. They were really. All right, cool. and. Going over this music, like, how would you say it impacted your life? Well, during the 60s, I had three children. So, yeah. But I think it was certainly a nice diversion. But I think one of the fun ways that it impacted my life was just the clothes. You know, the, um, the hippie style of dress, but in the mini skirts, and that was all fun. But of course, it was also the well, Vietnam come on. Now, were you involved in any protesting with the Vietnam War at all? So, he was a very liberal person. Yeah, and that makes sense. Did you get a chance to go to Woodstock? No Woodstock, but I did go to see Hair, <laughs> the play Hair, and, and that was pretty wild at the time. So I, for me, that was that was a wild thing. All right, and great. like going back to the Vietnam War and all that, like everybody that's lived through it has said it's impacted society. Would you feel that it has? Or? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I knew people, you know, whose husbands died in the war, and. Um, yeah, it definitely was. I mean, it was it was a time of protest. I mean, now we're protesting, but back then it was. It was hardcore. It was really hard. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. And from today. Oh. I'm old. Oh. Okay. I'm not coming. Like we're that. good. Will's gonna do. Take one. So, Will, we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking about the 1960s today. First of all, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for making me through the 60s. All right. And the 70s. All right. Okay. I'm so, being good now. So to be tired and straight. So to begin, how old were you in the in the 60s? Not the 1860s, <laughs> the 1960s. Um, I was a young man, a teenager, I'm, if you will. So what, like, 13 to 82? Yeah. Cool. 13 to 18. Awesome. I am awesome. That's why we're interviewing you, sir. Yeah. And during this time, would you say you were... What, what was your favorite band? Favorite band in the 60s. That was so long ago. Um, I would have to say um, Steppenwolf. Yeah. 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 They were really cool. Sing a song. America, where are you now? Don't you care about your sons and daughters? Don't you know we need you now? We can't fight alone against the monster. You think that song was based off of Vietnam? Um, it was um, written to um, express the artist's feelings against um, the war in Vietnam and what was going on in America at the time. 
And how do you think that war could have has influenced the United States? Um, well, for a while it changed the way um, a lot of people thought and, and acted. Um, unfortunately, um, a lot of those people got caught up in the uh, in the corporate bullshit of the of the times today, and <laughs> we've reverted back to. Um, being owned by the corporates. We've lost our identity. That's great. Do you think that the Vietnam War could have been as influential as it was without the music available? I don't think the, um, the outcome would have been the same without the music and the artists of the time. Um, I don't think, I think the war would have drug on like these stupid wars we have now because there's not the um, the outcry against them because the uh, there's not artists and, and music um, pushing against it. Basically America's lazy? Um, no, I don't think there's anything, nobody has anything invested in it really. Um, the draft had a big thing to do with it, you know, at the time. It, a lot of the um, anti-war um, music and, and sediment was anti-draft um, because of the draft, because people were having to go to war um, who didn't want to. People who go now want to go. They sign up. Nobody's